The Public Affairs section at the U.S. Embassy organized a news literacy lecture that took place at the Arab Media Forum. The lecture was delivered by Mr. Richard Hornick, which is, who is the Director of Overseas Partnership Program for the Center for News Literacy at, Sto at Stony Brook University, located in New York. The lecture was organized by the U.S. Embassy in cooperation with the Arab Media Forum. More in this report with our correspondent, Renoir Jabouri. Richard Hornick is an expert in the media arena whose opinions are extremely significant and invaluable to many. And not only to journalists and media personnel, but perhaps to a large audience who are interested in literacy and the quality and authenticity of the news. He has worked as a journalist and as a news executive with over 30 years of global experience. He is also an editorial consultant who has designed and implemented editorial reorganizations at Reuters and the Harvard Business Review. We've developed a curriculum there called News Literacy, which uh, tries to teach young people how to critically evaluate information. So in the digital era, when we're overwhelmed by all the information that's coming at us, how do you sort out the good stuff from the not so good stuff? And I'm spending this week at the Gulf University of Science and Technology with their uh, communications department, uh, talking about ways to uh, take some elements of our curriculum and uh, have it adapted here in Kuwait. The lecturer's insight and experiences are without a doubt invaluable to any organization or to any individual who is keen to understand the importance of journalism and the quality of information that is commonly being published across several places in today's era. Traditionally, one would resort to the newspaper to learn of current affairs and news. However, information today can be accessed through the World Wide Web and through countless social mediums. And the nature of journalism is changing. Uh, the what we call media convergence, all the different forms of media coming together, um, media fragmentation at the same time where you have a lot of different kinds of media. I mean, it's, it's changed. We no longer have the single model of the mass broadcasting where you have the radio or the television trying to reach uh, the majority of people. Now everybody goes off and self-selects their own kind of uh, media to consume. Uh, there's a plethora of choices and uh, this makes it a lot harder for people to communicate messages to the masses because the masses are so fragmented. Um, it also makes it much harder for consumers of media to be able to differentiate between what's good journalism and what's bad journalism um, or what's not even journalism at all but looks like journalism. Richard Horneck further pointed out that there is a flood of information today that is being distributed which could become confusing or overwhelming. It is therefore up to the individual to determine, understand and be able to differentiate between good journalism and poor journalism. What is authentic and what isn't so genuine. Whether you are the newsmaker or the news receiver, it is important to be able to differentiate between good journalism and poor journalism. And this is what today's lecture discussed in detail from the Arab Media Forum I'm Genu Jaburi reporting to you for the English News.